insane sort of mid-game fighting lineups. We're going to have a lot of action this game from OG and Secret. There's Yabsor. He's coming back forth. No mana quite yet for the Fisher, but he is claritying up. He's going to have mana for the Fisher soon. Zep's got to be careful. He's sitting low, out of regen. There's the Fisher setup as the clarity was enough to get that Fisher ready to go. Zep's trying to move in, but another slam down. They get the kill. First blood for Zai. They do lose Yapsor. That's Zai. The movement pays off. He's able to walk in, get the stun in on, so no tail. Now Samael's trying to turn in. He has the cooldown. It's going to hit on all three of the niches there as well, though, for Secret. Zai's getting low. They've lost Zai. Over towards Samael they go. Nisha and Macho, have they got the damage to kill him off? They've hit him once more with the Tidebringer. Nisha chases him down, finishes him off. They'll take down the big boy. Samael's out of the game. These great ways of, of getting these early pushes going. Down bottom, Zai. He should be in trouble. Saxa is able to roll in. There's no escape for him. An attempt from Yapsor to buy him some space to get out of there, but now Yapsor's in trouble as well. Quinn's on top, and then Seb comes in with the TP. Jump forward with the step. He's stuck in the sprout. It's going to be two kills for OG as Yapsor goes down. Nisha, he's trying to find something in return. Looks towards Saxa. Saxa does get dragged back into the torrent, but he's still alive. He is dying to the Sadai Banisher and will finally fall. But now Nisha, he's got to deal with the three of them. He's going to go straight up for the TP out, and there's no way to cancel it. So Nisha will be able to take Saxa's life and get out of there alive. Missile over towards Puppy. Samael's there's been time for him to join the action. Head in. Puppy pops the hand of God. Remnant pulls him back. Quinn's able to grab another. Quinn playing a lovely, clean game right now. Five kills on the Void Spirit. Now mid lane. Quinn, the fun don't stop. He's in with an Astral over towards Zai. Quinn's going to stay on top of this ledge. Zai low on the mana. Quinn's going to have a Remnant in a second if he wants to commit for this. But there is Yapsor on the side, dealing with a Hellbear Smasher. Matu's going to move over. OG have to be a little wary. Of Matu having the Omni Slash, good to go. Quinn bottling up. He's back to full HP and a decent amount of mana. Matu turns. He's got the Omni Slash available. Blade Fury there to make sure he doesn't get pulled in by the Remnant. They'll find the Fisher connection, but the Remnant, he actually was able to grab Zai instead. Zai stepped in range of it, and for that, it costs him his life. OG are able to find the kill, take another Tier 1 tower. See if he finds an avenue to initiate with. Secret. Stepping forwards, Quinn hiding behind the tree. He'll lead him with the remnant. Instantly grabs in Zai. They'll commit onto the Lesh Rack. Rolling Thunder coming through. The boat does come crashing down. So the rum will give them some sort of protection. It's not enough to save this Lesh. Omni Sash from Matu comes out onto Samel. It's not enough damage though. Matu couldn't finish off the kill. And now it's Quinn. He's back in. He takes down the jug. Nisha, he's tanking. Tower hits. The impetus is well for No Tail. Fly through. They've lost two on secret. Nisha's going to go for the TP out. He will make it away. Nothing to cancel it. But now Yaps are on Puppy. The supports, they've been left alone. Remnants out. Won't grab either of them. Puppy tries to hide in the trees, close his eyes, and hope that this ain't happening, and that will allow him to get out. Not to, not the same to be said for Yapsor, though. He does die. He is the one that has to play alone as the Prophet, and he'll uh, lose his life for it, you would imagine, unless they can make any sort of miraculous connection. They cannot. Seb is alone. OG are starting to move up. Maybe they can take a fight after Seb falls. Quinn's going to lead him with the Invis rune, see what sort of a grab he can find. In the river, Zai, he's already on top of Notel, so he's forcing the edge back. The cooldown does come out, hitting them all. The missile onto Matumba Man. Matumba Man, he's getting low. Can he get the blade through in the off of the time? He can, because Japsal's in with the echo. Buys time for Matu to pop the Omni Sash, but it isn't enough damage to kill us. Samael, finally, the tide bringer hit from Nisha will clip the gyro, take down Samael. Mail. It's been two buybacks from OG. They're trying to turn this. They're looking for Seb, but Seb, he's in trouble. He's going to go down a second time. It's a dieback on Seb. It's a triple kill for Nisha. This level 20 Kunkka just turning up big time into the fight. They'll bring back Notel. That's a double dieback from OG here at 25 minutes. And they've got vision on Quinn. Quinn was hopping around. They have vision on him with that sentry. And Quinn gets slammed down. They're now buying back on Quinn as well. He wants to get involved. See if he can turn this fight around. Samel moves in with the BKB, but Secret's able to back off. They turn over towards Zai. Missile inbound onto the Lishrak. Can Secret save and Zai's able to use up. And now Samel, he's vulnerable. The torrent control's there for Nisha. Double kill for Matu. OG's got to get out of it. Saxa jumps up to the high ground with the shield crash. No Tail's being chased as well by Puppy and the Chisentor. The Zai Lesh does fall as Quinn's able to come back in with Saxa. Slice him down. Can OG actually fight back into Secret? They're without their gyrocopter. Matu's got Blade Fury and still has the Satanic active to rely on. Puppy's just going to catch the TP out in the middle of the fray, and he's going to get away with it. He's out of this. Matu turns over towards Saxa. Saxa jumps in. Silence does hit onto Matu, but he's able to heal up with that Satanic. Take down Saxa. Aether Remnant does pull in Nisha, but Nisha's just too tanky. They cannot touch this Conquer. They might catch him this time. Obviously, the 
The one he's got to worry about is that X mark. Fisher into the torrent. He's not going to get the chance to pop a single spell. Secret have to lock down to shut down the Void Spirit in his split pushing attempt. Now, some else okay. Rapier status, 1600 towards it. You know, it's, it. I think it's going to be there. I, if anything, to you know, the last few minutes to go, but I think OG's going to have time to get this Rapier on Samael. We'll see what Secret have to say about that, though, as Matu is pushing onto the Tier 3. And see the Rolling Thunder being played with by Saxa. He's ready to jump in with that blink. Uh, if he wants to start slowing them from sieging this tier 3 tower. Nisha's just standing his ground, pushing on. Samel to, attempts to step forward. The X mark is there, just dragging back. He's stepped forward, Samel. He, he didn't have the BKB back up. It's still down for 15 seconds. Samel, he stepped far too far forward. He's dead for 80. And that is, that's a big error right there, because now Secret have all the space and time to take away this mid set of racks. And, I mean, they could go for more. There's no reason not to. They know how strong they are. Even with Samael in the game, they didn't have much to fear without Samael. There's nothing at all that's going to stop Secret from taking these objectives. As no tell, they'll commit onto him. He has got the Ghost Scepter and the heals providing him some safety. Secret, they will be a little wary of Quinn coming back into the game on his Void Spirit. But the Tier 3 is gone. Secret, they're able to take more. I mean, Nisha, he is, he's still hanging around. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, he just finds himself a three-man slam. All right, no tails out of the game, buys back. It's still 25 seconds without the gyro. Secret now to 20k lead. Oh, man, both Matu and Nisha have just played their carry roles to perfection this game. Jump him onto Seb. Leads in for the torrent. Fisher's follow-up is there. Seb will go down. He does have buyback. Will use it. Saxa caught outside of the base. As the pan goes dead, another buyback is available. Saxa will use it immediately. No tail trying to sail out with the ghost scepter, but they've got the magical damage to burst through it. Samel steps forward. He takes a full omni slash to the face. As the old man is in his helicopter is out of the game for 80. They don't have buybacks on these two heroes. Secret should be able to clean up the rest. Seb sprouts himself in. Nisha cuts him down. You can expect the Gs to start coming out pretty soon. They're heading on to tier four. Secret looks like OG's going to make them work for it, make them take down the buildings before they tap out. Quinn's dead. He's got a buyback available. He's going to use it. I mean, OG, they are trying their best to hold on. But this game is absolutely over. There's no comeback to be had here. Secret will take game one of this series and very, very cleanly sort of from the mid game onwards as well. Nisha sort yeah, of just it's, waltzes it's quite in. quite insane really, you know, seeing OG change lineup between series, then between games. You know, by the end of this tournament, we're gonna have OG turning up with Shawn Michaels on the carry trail for Bellman on the mid. <laughs> stroke spells too, so some cool preparations. And their heroes also benefit super highly and specifically from if Rubik gets any of those Grimstroke spells, right? Ember, PA, oh, yeah. Slardar. No, there's definitely some some lovely things to be had there. What we see on the OG side, they also Ooh, react. Top lane. Oh, OG. That's your first no, no. You see him and he's playing versus the Slardar and PA. You're imagining, yeah, of course, it's because of that high armor. He's yeah, also going to add a good lockdown for Mid his team. Is. He's in with the gank. He's going to keep himself hidden in the trees. The spirit sound to Matu, putting him off any sort of idea of diving in for this. No Tail's also around to back up the cause of OG. Nisha steps forward. A little hard for both teams to get. Get a bite on one another. Maybe if Nisha can find the change, they can go. Nisha still wanting to play aggressive with this arcane rune. Dagger in onto Seb. Still got a bit of a duration left on the dragon form. Nisha getting caught by the remnant. Drab back, but the defensive disruption keeps him safe. And now with the numbers, Secret are able to overrun OG. They move over towards No Tail. Now they turn their attention towards Midborn. Nisha, he's got the chains back up. The remainder of that arcane rune really paying off for him. As Midborn still trying to run. Nisha's been able to bring him low. Matsu competing with the dagger. You know, over he goes with the dissimilar. Midborn goes aggressively, but he's into a so change. Matu's able to turn and crit him down, but Matu will fall for his efforts. And Puppy also ticks down to the damage of the Dragon Fall from Seb. Nisha hiding in the trees. Samel, has he got the damage to take him? Chains will stop Samel from jumping around any further. But the vision's there from that ward. He's able to close the gap. Nisha throwing down a remnant to jump over. If Seb can find the brief eye, it should bring him down, and it will. Seb's able to get the angle. They do kill off Nisha's Ember Spirit, and they should be able to finish off this Tier 1 bot. And so they start getting points in the smoke screen on Ricky. It, it is unlikely that the Dragon Tail... Sun's going to be enough to hold him in. They do find Japsel. Very so quick go for blink anything there. More here. Lots of means to deal with the PA. Mm -hmm. Between their, their elements of crowd control and, of course, the spirits from the Ooh, Phoenix is always an issue. They're so trying for him down bottom. They've got yeah. the dust. And he is alone. They are teeping over towards the outpost, Oji, to try and help out. You are seeing, indeed, as you say, that high armor on the Ricky come into play there. 
giving him extra time to jump around and juke them out. As Samael, he's, he's actually been able to run away by the looks of it. Now, and the now time the has been there for No Tell and Mid one to turn up. They're in with the Soul Band. They're, they're going to be able to turn it. OG turn it around. Mid one picks up the double kill. And they do have that defusal done for Samael. Let's see if they get the lead in here. This initiation onto Seb. And it's going to be attempted. Mid one's already coming in from the side. They get the stun onto No Tail, but No Tail's fine. Chains out both onto Seb and Mid one. The lead forward oh, Seb turns with the Dragon Tail onto Nisha. Zai jumps forward. The Supernova out as well on the high ground. It's a great positioning. It's going to force Secret to think twice about trying to fight this. The Supernova still eclipses both Nisha and Puppy, allowing Samara to jump over towards the Shadow Demon, over towards the Ember. The three oh, dead, wow. four dead on Secret. An excellent hold there from OG as they stand strong, take the fight. Saxa finding an excellent position for that supernova up on the high ground where Secret, they just didn't have an answer to it. They could not get in position to deal with it and the decision to retreat, it came all but too late. Secret just very up. single target oriented. Let's see what they can catch. The smoke just is better. In fact, there's going to be the quick jump from Seb. He's instantly in onto Nisha. Nisha wasn't ready and Nisha is dead. The Supernova will get popped. There'll be a buyback for Nisha because his team, they need it. Zai, he's trying to fight up against Midborn and Seb in the river. Samael has been found, but a jump back to safety. Samael will get out of there, but Zai, he finds the opportunity to get in with a corrosive phase and to set up for Samael to go down. They'll turn their attention over towards Seb. This buyback for Nisha allowing them to join forces and move back in. But Nisha, he's got to be careful. He's been soulbound. Have they got the silence followed? They have the silence is there onto the two of them. Midborn, he's gonna have an issue with the pulse in a couple of What's seconds. Up, They've got to be prepared for this silence to simulate into the resonant pulse. He's silenced yet again. The remnant pulls him in. Midborn, this man's insane. He's got himself a triple. He's, he's over towards Poppy. Poppy, he's getting smashed. Midborn hits back at secret. It's an ultra kill for the man playing on 200 ping. And I can't quite believe this. 10, 1, and 11. <laughs> Honestly, what the hell were OG not doing, not playing with this man? Because he also no, just has to, yeah. he has to watch out of a lot of things too, right? It's not just the silence. It's a Ricky no, no, Cloud. No. It's a DK stun. There's a lot of other elements that he does have to be very wary of. I think if anything, he's just not getting the BKB now because he realizes he need, he's going to need both. He's going to have to go for the BKB after yeah. the yours. But of course, that's just doesn't feel great. Mid lane, he just walks in straight into a smoke screen. Nisha's just been locked down. There's no way to play out of this one. The Supernova's out. Seth does get focused by Matu. As Matu commits with the BKB, we'll be able to bring down the DK. Still Matthew a long, yeah. a long and tall mountain to climb yeah, continuously. They're going to chase more though. There's Bricky still dead, but they get dissuaded. I mean, Seb, he's going to start punching back. And Zai, for his efforts, he's going to pay with his life. Zai Oof. will fall. Matsu's trying to go Matsu's to the BKB. He's in onto Midborn, but Midborn's still going to dissimilate. Jumps over to the side. He's also got an Astro Chep step charge. Good to go. He's out of there. They turn with the soul bind, and Matsu's trying to go with this BKB onto the Dragonite. But the BKB ends, and Midborn, he instantly has the control in place. The Ether Remnant was already laid down, so as soon as the PA came out of the BKB, Matsu got pulled aside by it. It's four dead on secret yet again. Secret fully on the defensive and OG. Now they can try to reinitiate. And they certainly can. And they go straight away. BKB pop from Matu. He tries to go in for some mail, but some mail's able to jump up with the tricks of the trade. Midborn commits onto the back lines. Midborn's already taken out both supports. He gets out of there. But Matu tries to commit, but the Halberd comes in. He's been disarmed. He can't, he's got to get out. The Supernova's burning they down. They'll tap it out. This game is over. GG is called. OG are going to be the ones to take game two with mid one turning up 16 one up well, yes yeah, 16 one and 15 on the you guys are the power player, there is a meepo yes but I, I do see a way that og can make this work he should be able to farm just way faster because you can just push the lane in over and, over and bounty has no way of creep clearing at all he has to just <laughs> auto attack these creeps to just like look how many creeps he has under his tower already the next wave is coming in already Oh, he does mess with Nisha's poof. Oh, he does. I mean, oh, I can see first blood me. indeed having down on the side lane, Zai. <laughs> is able to snipe no tail there. So he's making some but... money. Yeah, Matsu's still level four. He's making this move, of course, without the shadow walk. So it's just going to be the walk in, but might just be good enough with that Fisher from Saxa. Locking Matsu out with the track. Easy vision for Seb to keep the right clicks coming in. Still, though, he's able to bite through the sprout. Matsu on the retreat. Mid one doing his best to chase. He's got the level two shuriken as well already. As a move in, shuriken will cancel the sow, moves in, and he gets the kill. He is playing to uh, perfectly right now, and he's even got the opportunity to find a kill in mid because Zai's coming with the rotation. They're in with the rolling thunder, locking down Samael. He's is going to get the chance to put the ult, but it's not enough to save him. He's already too low. He falls. No tail and sacks are coming in, but they can't do anything in time. As Nisha not only free farming, but now getting involved in kills awards the Eagle song.
OG's got to do something soon. Well, they're bringing a lot for him. And Nisha actually poofs in place, and they're Maybe. bringing it, lots of backup. Let's see if they can turn this. Saxa is going to be held back by the sleep. He's not quite six yet, so no Echo Slam's ready. Puppy will almost certainly lose his life this time for this. The Fisher does connect on Nisha, but he's able to poof across, so not quite yet. Does get cancelled by the Shuriken, but there's no further oh. Saxa, he comes in. And he does not want to sit around hitting creeps. He wants to be setting up on heroes. Sai. Yes. Getting spotted. We oh, did swashbuckle him for that. Ooh, oh, he jumps well. off of the Oh, that dodge it does dodge the ink spot. So Zai's gonna have a chance to head back. The Fisher off the mark that won't reach him. Zai's fine, and now backup's in. Nisha's done. He's here. And he's ready to party. He's got that Eagle Song, so this man's got a lot of Agi to punch with. His, his meat posts do hurt. Midborn's trying his best to juke it out on the side. Fiend Scripts there onto Saxa. A secret will take out the Shaker. They still continue to chase down Midborn. He's too speedy, though, with the phase boots and the wind lace. Do scale like the Ember as well. He's going for a crit. He actually has the crit finished up early. Okay. Uh, while on the side of OG, it's really, it's just the Alchemist, right? You see the way yeah, the itemization is. is coming from Seb. It's a mech. You see the Bounty Hunter. It's a hood, maybe into a pipe, potentially. So just making sure that Sumail has Kill off Nisha. They're going in with the track. They've got the concoction. Smell throws it out. Nisha is going to be able to e blade the Meepo, keeping it alive. Nisha off. is going for the TP out. Nisha really going to live. He's not. The Shuriken bounces over. Stolen slam from Yapso comes into play, but there's already two down on secrets. I will be able to turn things around as he comes up with the swashbuckle. Takes out Samel. Matu focusing down Saxa. Saxa pops the sig charges. Matu's got the slide of his back up. Cuts down the shaker. Mid still trying to chase down Matu. He has the tracks out. Zai goes for the swashbuckle, but it's off the mark. Shuriken's back up. Mid one. He takes down a third. It's a triple kill for the bounty hunter. It's mid one. He's just cleaning them all up and stay on him and with Seb's Seb help, they might be able to do so Seb TP's in another right click flies through Mip on keeping the tracks up Matsu he is just a little too far away the creeps are going to spawn I don't know if it's going to be in range for a shuriken bounty yeah, she hasn't got the mana anyway well, playing versus an alchemist oh, don't help your bounties. teammate get the bounties <laughs> and they are going to be able to get some of them puppy able to sleep back some ale <laughs> Seb <laughs> waits a second before picking it up <laughs> and then we'll get the kill on puppy Fisher comes in from Saxa TP's cancelled and Puppy will run. And Seb's going to have Sprout back up in a second. Won't even need it. Puppy chomps some mango. Enjoys his final dish. Mid lane, mid one. He's running. Slider fist will take him out, though. Matsu able to fight back after mid one got a good fight going there, mid, with that triple kill. They are able to kill him. Seb's able to move him with the ink swell. No tail provides him. Matsu, he's low on the mana. He's got one more slider fist to use, and Zai's coming in with the rolling thunder to help out. Uses the slide, still gets hit by the nuke, but it won't kill him off. Zai rolls in, finds the connection onto Seb. Seb trying to run another slider fist from Matsu. He's playing aggressively despite how low he is. They've slowed down Seb. Seb will finally fall to the fade bar of. Yep, so Yapso moves across. Soulbind will end. Zai swashbuckles back up so he can turn and get away from Samael. Hits him back with those. Boost up his teammate too, but I'm also seeing well, mid one. He's actually going for a. Uh, did you see that? He's going for a veil. So because I guess he's going to be getting. He's expected to be given an Aghanims eventually. Okay. He's just going to yeah. try to boost that one up. But I mean, Secret's really starting to ramp up the pace. And with the Meepo, and now they have a what? I think a Vlad's is coming on the courier for Zai. Yeah. Should be able to go for Roche. They even find Soxa. They do. The setup's there. Mid one and Samel are by his side. Slider Fist comes in. Zai's rolling forward. The Rolling Thunder connects onto the two of them. Fade Ball onto both Saxa and Samel. They're turning. Fiend Script from Puppy used to hold down Mid one, but Puppy is ticking down to the Radiance. They'll lose the Bane. Saxa finally gets taken out. That Chemical Rage is going to be devastated. Able to reduce that healing at regen by so much, and they're just yeah, they're just making sure to benefit and play around Nisha, level 15 now in the meepo, and they're looking again. Sumail, he shot himself in mid, and he's in a lot of trouble. He's popped the alt here. They do have the Fisher to try and block off these bounces. The net will miss initially, but there's the E blade setting up for the remnant burst as Sumail will slowly but surely fall. The slam comes out from Saxa, but it doesn't do anything at all. They hardly take even a scratch. The net's out onto a mid one. Secret really overrunning OG right now as OG's draft struggling to have the power to deal with Secret's mid game bad. prowess. This is four dead on OG. Secret. So it looks like it's a latch. So you see Sox has been farming in the enemy in the uh, dire oh, jungle. Oh, look at they found. I'm talking about people in the blink. jungle. But all oh, they found Sumail. They have. Puppy's got the grip. Yaps on Zai ready to come in as well. Look at that damage from Matu. Sumail just melts. And so does Seb. Any yeah, sort of movement split. outside of the base. They're, they're just crumbling right now, OG. It's yep. 32 to 9, 15k lead. Mid one's been caught out as well. This bounty cannot get out of this. As Secret are hitting back so hard here in this game three. Game two, sure, OG, they got the chance to sing and dance around. But Secret, they are not messing around here in this third game. And OG, are, they're just getting destroyed. They, they, this, this Meepo has absolutely ruined OG here in this game three.
Yeah, definitely agree. We see Soxa. He's walking up and showing his face with no blink dagger, but he has the blink on his courier. So he's trying to do a little bit of a, you know, a little bait play here because he was able to finally farm that. Still only level one echo, and his oh, teammate is... dies right next to him, but <laughs> he well, wants to get the echo. This is looking pretty over. I mean, Matsu, I mean, as you say, I keep talking about the Meepo, but I, if, if anything, it really is the way that Matsu was able to play after not necessarily an easy lane up top. Oh, okay. Okay, Saxa. He kills Matsu. Bit of the old caster's curse there. They'll turn over towards Nisha. They'll kill off yeah, Nisha. Nisha. All right. No, Ladies and gentlemen, blink, man. this game ain't over. They're getting a fair bit of gold running the way of themselves. Zai, swashbuckles away. Saxa wants to continue to chase this. Fisher's out onto the two of them. I mean, Saxa, he's just turned up big time and he's just turning this out or at least starting to push it back in the, the right way for OG. But now it's come a little too close to the tower. People are respawning. Oh God, Matthew's back. back in the game. Sacks so awful. Now it's time for OG to back off. They've got to still respect the fact that Secret are very far ahead right now. The stolen track being used against mid one as they have the vision upon him. He's trying to run. Another slight. Swashbuckle's not there, but the clumsy net is. Matu back in action. It's 300 damage every time he's hitting I mean, people. Plus. And, and look at his KDA run. 15, 3, and 12. Yeah. The, the moves he's made. He has been involved in almost everything. Yep. And sort of secret, they resume business. Back on with the stomp that they were rolling with before. Zai's there. They see Sumail showing his face. All right. Puppy in uh, position and ready oh, with the grip. Oh, and Saxa. He's gone. Oh. That was sort of the one worry for, for them. Then Saxa does have a buyback. He is going to use it back on towards the top lane to get the rolling thunder over onto Samael. Nisha moves in onto Seb. The bounce back again onto Samael. Samael pops the BKB, but the fiend script controls there from Puppy. Nisha trying to right click Samael down, but Samael is still surviving through this. Now charging forward towards Puppy, looking for the support kill. He's been held back in the sprout here. I'm sorry, able to use that sprout against Seb's own team. It's four dead. It's another team fight win for Secret. They are really just back to rolling over OG. They get the catch on mid one. Mid one can't escape this. He's changed up. It's going to be a team wipe. Secret now 44 to 12, 20k lead. I mean, cute. Mid one wanted to play some mid bounty hunter. Secret are messing around. The, the Nisha Meepo coming in as that be all end all pick. And 